hey everyone, what are we dragging today? Is 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 this character? It's a dragon. It's a dragonborn. That is. Oh, here's Guard Jung, and we are going to do the Kobold's new ringleader quest, and we're going to go in here into Bonevite Hideout and go through it as quickly and effectively and efficiently with great efficacy as possible. We're going to go in on Elite. Enter. Ooh, so here, on the first part, you want to make sure all of your buffs and all of your weapons are equipped. You, equipped. you want to swing your sword and make sure that it is there and not missing somewhere else. So there's two ways to do this quest. There's a few ways to do this quest. There's a few ways to do any quest. But the best way that I've found is not breaking, any, uh, not breaking this box, jumping up here, jumping up here, and then jumping over here. Boom, you've skipped half the quest. Super efficient. Oh, just absolute... Game's done quick tiers of efficacy right there. I'm gonna come over here, beat off all the kobolds. There's one that ran off to the right, he's just gonna ring a gong, but that's just what kobolds do. They just love doing that, you gotta forgive him. There you go, he's forgiven. Focus the shaman down so he doesn't lightning bolt your ass. And then everyone else can just die through normal means. So you do want to head right on this uh, little corridor, this little split right here, this little T intersection. And you want to come to this door right here. So this is one of the rooms where there is a chance for Grondok, Brakash, or Rakshash to spawn. And you'll know they're all in this room by the number of chests uh, there. So they're just like little mini bugbear bosses. They're not too tough. You just wang them. Sometimes you get two in a room. Sometimes you get one in a room. Sometimes you get none in a room. But you'll never get three in a room. Uh, yeah. So, you can get there. Uh, the notable loot, I think, is mostly from that one. Well, I can put all the notable loot on screen right now! Oh my god, wow, that's crazy. So here, uh, there's a little uh, mischievous thing. So if you have, if you're a big strength boy, you can come here, push the door, strength your way through. I'm a weak little noodle-armed boy, though. So if you are as well, you can climb your way up here, and then just walk across them, and now you're on the other side, look at that. You still can't open the door. It's like it was rusted shut, it wasn't actually the crate that was in the way. But the cat's a, also a weak noodle arm boy and doesn't know how to walk through. You want to come through here, and this is how you get the optional fine guard Jung's lost badge. You have to beat off two spiders. This one as well. A little bit of a tough one. There you go. Spiders beat off. Our Jung, take the badge. Very good. That is the optional completed. And now you still can't go through that door if you don't have the strength requirement, so you're gonna have to hop back over the boxes again. And that is how you do that. So, yeah, that's good. Then you go over to the other side. That is the result of the lever being pulled from before, so you gotta go do the same on the opposite side of the area. And come in here, Kobolds. This is another room where Brackash, Rakash, or the other one. One of the three bugbear mini bosses could spawn. Uh, so yeah, the, the, he chose not to that time. Like I said, e either one, two, or none will be, but never three. From then, you move on to the door that you just unlocked. That sentry is gonna go running off, but he just likes bringing a gong, and that's just what kobolds love doing. So you gotta, you gotta let him do it. Uh, after the trap fires, you can just walk across it because it takes quite a while to reset. Uh, beat off these kobold guys, make sure to finish one off before moving on to your uh, to your next kobold, you know? Just to minimize the damage coming in. On your right, through these doors, there's going to be a rest shrine. You may use it if you feel like you need it or want to use it. Uh, however, I'm feeling pretty okay. I do have a little heal spell, so I think we're doing okay. So we're just gonna get in here. I'm gonna cast like a little mini buff right here. Boom, focusing chant. I'll refresh my heroism because I only got 20 seconds left on it. Oh, what a boss that guy was. Well, actually, he was not the boss. The real boss is... Blood Knuckles. He's a big ogre and he's a bit tough. He can wang you real hard. So you want to be careful and watch out for his big damaging attacks. So just go toe-to-toe -to -to -toe -to -toe with him and, uh, you know, beat him over the head. Win the game. Show off that good build you got. Use that strength score. We're gonna open this, see what we get. Ooh, this is some pretty useless loves. And we'll finish up. Finish off real good all over. 
Now we'll head back to Garjong and collect our reward for this uh, monumental task we have done for him. We got his little badge back and killed like a, a, a group that was giving him trouble as a guard. He's going to get a promotion for that and we'll get no credit. What we get instead is... Oh, just a... Uh, nothing too impressive, really. Well, anyway, that's the whole quest. And thank you, and come again next time. Bye-bye.